I am not really a big April Fool's joke person. The biggest prank you'll ever get from me is like building a house in the wrong Sims game or something. We obviously play a lot of The Sims 4 here on my YouTube channel, but my first love, my first Sims game was actually The Sims 3. And The Sims 3 actually has some really interesting build tools like a color wheel and stuff that we don't have in The Sims 4. So it does have its perks and The Sims 3 is really nostalgic for me, but for the most part, playing The Sims 3 nowadays is really, rough. You'll see as we start building, but just to give you a couple of examples, you can't save in build mode. You have to come out of build mode back into live mode to save, which seems like it wouldn't be that big of an issue. The problem is the game often crashes on switching between modes, so if you get stuck in that, you literally cannot save. In The Sims 4, you're probably very used to being able to like pick up rooms and move them around. You can't do that in this game. The most you can do is like kind of drag walls from rooms, but it only works sometimes. You can't add a foundation once you've started. Like, there's a lot of difficulties here that we're not used to. The Sims 4 is a lot easier to build in. It has way more quality of life improvements. And also, I literally have to have a mod installed to make this game run better because otherwise it is almost unplayable at this point. But that's fine. I still love her. And I was thinking that we could try to build some sort of beach house on this lot. I'm playing in Sunset Valley right now, which is the base game world in The Sims 3. And it's got this cute row of houses facing out towards the beach. So so I kind of want to do something like that. But I gotta be honest, we cannot do anything too complicated. I am not capable of complicated in this game. The tools are just not as helpful as The Sims 4, and I'm not good at like the constrained floor elevation cheats in this one. So we're gonna make something simple, something simple and blue suburban-y. And we have to really think carefully about where we build this, because in this game, once you've built it, you can't move it like you can in The Sims 4. I'm also starting with a foundation because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get one. And I was kind of picturing that maybe Ooh, yikes. No, go away. I was picturing that maybe there would be a little balcony on the top and bottom. Oh my god, are you serious? I know it's really simple, but something kind of like that. And then I really want to have a garage because The Sims 3 has cars. I just feel like I cannot play this game and not include a garage. What are you doing? Why is that the wrong way around? But because I have a foundation, I can't put it like attached to the house because again, I don't know how to do those constrained floor elevation sheets. So we're going to have to make do with something like this, okay? I'll have like a little back door and like a side walkway or something. Thing. And then we can have a detached garage. And I think that that's still cute and fine. The roofing in this game is such a pain as well. I don't even know how to like fix that. You kind of forget just how useful The Sims 4 is and how like helpful the tools are for roofing in that game. And then you come here and you're like, oh my God, <laughs> this is chaotic. I think I'm actually gonna build out a little bit of a bump out like this, just so I can have some sort of roof on it to make like some shape that looks a bit better. I'm gonna make sure I put flooring on the inside of the house. And don't worry, I'll put lights and stuff. We just gotta think about the exterior layout for a second. I think I'm gonna need to have a column right here. Otherwise, I don't think I'm allowed to put a floor. <laughs> it's very confusing. There's like more physics involved. In The Sims 4, you can kind of just like put roofs wherever you want for the most part, but in The Sims 3, it has to actually make sense. You know what? I've kind of changed my mind on this just a little bit. I said I was gonna make this simple. I'm just gonna let it be simple. It's okay if it's like a weird T shape. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> and that's what I have to do in this place to make it functional. I hate how high up that goes. Is that even like touching the side of the house? Or is there a gap? I can't even tell. And by the way, the grid, you can't turn it off. You can make it worse, but you cannot turn the grid off in like the outside spaces. So you can see I can toggle it inside, but this grid out here and the grids on the other floors will just be there. So if you are currently screaming at your screen, hating the grid, I'm so sorry. I literally cannot do anything about it. It just has to stay. Okay, what if I made the garage kind of lower like that? I'll get a small piece of roof sort of like right there. I think that's a reasonable and like cute and simple layout for the house. I think that we can make this work. I do wish that I had scooted it a bit forward on the lot, but I can't change that now. <laughs> We're just kind of stuck with it. Oh, and here's kind of a fun feature. So I can change the color of anything. Essentially using a color wheel like this, I can swap the texture, I can swap the color. And so I can make a totally custom colored fence, but then get this, if I wanted to, you can build the fence on the edge of the lot. You can't do that in this Sims 4. In The Sims 4, you're stuck with it being like a tile in, but in this game, you can do it straight on the edge. I think I may use this one instead because I kind of like this shape a little bit better, but I guess I'll use that to kind of 
separate how everything's looking. I'm gonna put the fence all the way around the back. I'm not gonna put it on the edge over here because I want it to line up with the garage, but I think that's a nice layout for the backyard. Unless, mm, maybe I don't like it like that. <laughs> Hold on. Let me also save real quick because I can feel it being kind of laggy. If it crashes, I quit. We're gonna have to stop. I've got enough going on right now. Like my cat is having surgery to remove cancer in her leg tomorrow. I do not need The Sims 3 to crash on me. The length of time that it's taking to save is kind of starting to scare me, but it just does this. This is kind of just how it is. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Something else kind of interesting about this is that you can draw fence posts in. So like wherever you stop the fence, it will put a fence post, which I wish it would do in The Sims 4. I wish that we had more control over where it went and it didn't just like randomly auto place it in The Sims 4. But I think that that is the best I'm gonna be able to do for the basic layout here. The other thing that I wish that we could custom place instead of auto placing, well, these are cute. I'm gonna save that real quick. But the other thing I wish we could custom place are the edges of paneling. So as you know, in The Sims 4, when you try and place a wallpaper like this, it'll like auto place in the corners and then it'll just kind of like paint it automatically, which I think is meant to be an improvement, except in The Sims 3, you can custom place where the corners are. So I can go around like this and place the pieces in all myself, which is so useful because as you know, in The Sims 4, it kind of like places it wrong sometimes. Like in The Sims 4, if I tried to auto place it over here, it wouldn't put it on this section because it's just one tile. If it were two tiles, the corner would work, but not when it's one tile, which is very weird and very annoying. And then on this, I can change everything. I can make it into a different wood texture. I can change the color completely. I was thinking about making it kind of a pretty light blue color like that. And then I can copy it and paste it onto everything. And with that, we can completely customize the color of our house, which is huge. If The Sims 4 had anything like this, like any little slight bit of a color wheel, it would be a complete game changer. And I think that it's too late for The Sims 4 to ever get anything like that. But it sounds like whatever this future Sims game they're making, this project Renee thing is. It sounds like they're planning on having something like this in Project Renee. I mean, I would be extremely surprised if they made a game in like 2028 or whenever it'll come out that doesn't have this sort of customization. Cause like every game that's coming out nowadays does. Things like Planet Zoo have all those build tools. So I think it would be very dumb of them to not include it. <laughs> Especially since here I am playing a game that came out in 2009 and this game has it. But this game doesn't have as much else going for it. It definitely struggles in build mode. Oh, lag. Save again. All right, for roof textures, should it be like metal? What do the houses nearby look like? And you can't change the colors of these, by the way. <laughs> the roof just is what the roof is and you're kind of stuck with it. I'm okay with the little beige one, I think, maybe. I don't know. It's just horrible. Maybe the gray. I think gray is good. This used to be my favorite fence of like all time. I was obsessed with this fence back in the day. I wonder if I could like mix and match some wood accents somehow in here. Also, this kind of has beach house energy. You know how they do these like kind of fancy things in beach houses. I've seen it. It also looks kind of rustic, but oh my God, lag, lag, stop. <laughs> you have to like go back into live mode to fix it. The customization tool, it has its problems. Also this, this is trying to sell me store items. This is from the Sims 3 store. This beach visor maybe costs like a dollar. 99 Sim points, that's, that's 99 cents. See, I was right. <laughs> Isn't that just horrifying? And they have ads popping up in game trying to sell it to you. If the Sims 4 did that with like trying to sell you individual items. Could you imagine? Here we all are thinking kits are bad, but like The Sims 3 had it rough back in the day. I kind of hate how this looks. Let me see if I can make this white instead. Cannot intersect objects. Oh my god. I think you're not supposed to put columns on the edge. They don't want a slot in the corner in this game. Oh yeah. Okay, wait, hold on. They want a slot. The columns want to go like here, like centered in between tiles, which is so ugly. There is unfortunately not a stair railing that matches. I kind of forgot how limited the stair railings were. I think these are carpeted stairs. Ew, 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 oh my god. Okay, do something like that, that's fine. If I put the columns back, am I gonna break the game? Can you still get up here? Oh yeah, she's fine. Okay, now move again. Get away. I like this color of this wood to put on the deck somehow. So I think I might use that. And then we gotta start thinking about doors and windows and I might turn move objects off for this too. I just don't trust this game. I love how that door looks 
but I think maybe it's a bit too fancy. Oh, that one's kind of nice. This might be okay. And we can just make it all white, kind of like that. How does that look? It doesn't really seem that bright. It's like kind of leaning a little gray. I might need to lighten it. That's as white as I can get it. Oh, one other thing. <laughs> if you like this build and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna download it for my Sims 3 game. I'm really sorry. And you're not gonna download it for your Sims 3 game. I don't have a way to make this work. There's a way that you can export builds in The Sims 3, like it is possible. I have just never done it successfully. Like the last time I tried, my game crashed a million times. I would start the export, insta crash every single time. So I, I can't upload this for you. It is unfortunately not gonna be happening for us. Oh my God, and the other thing, you can't place windows and doors and stuff on half tiles. They have to be on the tile. So in The Sims 4, we can like alt place windows and doors. No, not here. And it makes that really weird noise whenever you try and start to place it. If you're wondering what that noise is, that is the window. The window makes that noise. Listen to that. Isn't that horrifying? Why? Why does it do that? Oh, I'm gonna need move objects for this side door. In The Sims 4, this would work. In The Sims 3, I'm afraid it's a little bit too tight. I'm not really sure, but we'll see how it goes. I like to do this where I'll get like an all black texture and use it to put on those little roof pieces and like bits that are supposed to be invisible. And then sometimes I'll paint like the whole underside of the foundation all black too. It kind of like turns it into the void, which I think is a little bit more preferable. <laughs> it just makes a bit more sense that way. I'm gonna use that same flooring on the inside. I really like how that looks. We're gonna wanna get some sort of like concrete or stone or something in here. I don't even know if there is like a solid concrete texture. You probably wouldn't have like a paved <laughs> garage, would you? I don't think so. I do like the idea of pavers for this though. I think that's kind of nice. I just don't know which ones to use. Maybe I can make them into like a slightly more true gray color, kind of like that. I haven't really thought through how to paint the foundation either because I hate this brick. I think that just looks horrendous. I always think this about The Sims 3, like every foundation texture there is, I think all of it's bad. Maybe I'll just do it a light gray like that and then rely on trying to put plants in front of it so you can't see it. So for cars in The Sims 3, you have to put down one of these little parking spot things and that's how you're able to park a car somewhere. The car will like slot to that basically. We have quite a few options. I'm just gonna do some money cheats because I'm not that worried about trying to have this house be on a budget, but they have a ton of cars and they also have boats, but I'm probably not gonna be getting one of those. <laughs> oh, I kind of like this little yellow one. That's cute. Can you make her a bit sunnier, the color? Oh, okay, I'll put that car in the front yard. And then maybe I'll put another car in the garage. Maybe they have like a slightly nicer car that they keep in the garage and they keep the family car outside. Oh, you can't alt place wall decor either. So if I wanted to scoot these lights closer to the door, well, I can't, it's not possible. They are just gonna slot where they slot and that's how it's gonna be. In hindsight, I probably should have used these in black instead of just picking the random default color. That was my bad. I really like the idea of a pool in the backyard and I forgot you can do curves. Oh my gosh. I feel like we have to just for the sake of like having the opportunity. We need to do something kind of curved, right? Oh, the pools are really weird in this game. <laughs> I don't know if I like them. I can make the curve a bit bigger. How do you flip it? I don't think I like trying to build pools. <laughs> I've been sitting here trying to do this for like multiple minutes. It doesn't even look that good. It's better than nothing though. It's kind of fun. We need to get a pool ladder and then they have stuff like pool slides even, except my pool is kind of big. I don't know if I can use it. Oh, oh, I can. Oh my gosh, we should do that. It's slotted there, right? So it, it works. I think that's fine. I honestly have not got a single clue how I want to landscape this build. I'm thinking I want to get some nice big trees. I just don't know which ones. <laughs> I don't know the landscaping options as well in The Sims 3. In The Sims 4, I'm very familiar with like everything that we have. So I know exactly what I want to use and where I'm going to use it. But in this game, I don't really have that same level of expertise anymore. It's been a while, so I don't really know what I should put in. These hydrangeas were my all time favorite piece of landscaping in the entire game. I was obsessed with these things. I put them everywhere. I think right now is no exception. Even though it doesn't really look that good, I'm still probably gonna do it because I just, I like the concept, okay? I love having big flowers everywhere. One kind of cool thing about this is that these items like change in size automatically. So if you place multiple, you'll get some size variation of them. And that's pretty helpful because it makes things look a little bit more realistic. They aren't all like identical to each other. Listen to this sound. 
This is the terrain paint sound. <laughs> Why is it so loud? <laughs> Whenever I do Sims 3 builds on my Twitch channel, my chat's always like, what is that? When I start doing terrain paint, because it like actually kind of scares people. Okay, I think that the front might be done. I'm just gonna call it because I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm gonna start thinking about the floor plan on the inside. We do have a couple interesting stair things that we don't have in The Sims 4, including spiral stairs. I honestly don't really think that spiral stairs fit the vibes of this house, but I think I might use them anyway, just because we can. Like, we're here. We might as well use them while we're here. I'm currently trying to figure out how I want to lay out this downstairs area. I'm kind of thinking that it might be nice to have the kitchen in this little nook. We could do the cabinets kind of along either side like this. I could get a small dining table and put it sort of in here. Oh my god, the chairs don't want to slot. Why are you doing this to me? We could put the dining table kind of here in that little space. That doesn't leave us much room for the living room. It's like very close to the front door, but we might have to just make do. We have like some kind of weird and ugly TV stands too. Cause remember <laughs> this game came out in 2009. So when I start looking at things like the TVs and the computers, that's one of the cheapest base game TVs. This thing, oh yeah, it's 2009. Okay, I think that's like the basic furniture layout for the downstairs figured out. Upstairs, we're gonna wanna get probably probably another bathroom and at least a couple more bedrooms. Uh-oh, my spiral staircase is kind of in a weird spot for the upstairs. Can you rotate that at all? Is that better maybe? Because if it comes out over here, we could potentially, oh no. I think that we should lay it out like this. I know it looks kind of weird right now and I have to use different doors than I did downstairs, which I sort of hate because I don't like that these doors are single tile. Let me turn move objects off for this again because I don't trust this game. But we can put the doors in the corner and that is still functional even if it's not cute. So in total, it, it's a four bedroom, two bathroom house. I'm actually in the debug cheats right now because I want to get some of the debug lights. I struggle a lot with lights in The Sims 3. I don't really like them. And these lights are cool because they're only visible in build mode. So when I go into live mode later and I'm like playing with a sim, you won't be able to see these lights. They look like weird squares from build mode. But when I go right here, no weird squares. It just lights everything up perfectly and it looks way better this way. I'm going to save again. <laughs> and now we start thinking about furniture. <laughs> so I don't really know what I want to do in these bathrooms. To be honest, I'm not really obsessed with any of the tile in this game anymore. There's one specific wall panel that I adored when I was younger. I think it's even like store content, but I just thought this one. I thought this was like the most beautiful thing in the entire world. I wonder if we could try, you know what? I kind of love that like blue and green purpley color tile. <laughs> Let's use that. I forgot how dire the toilet situation is too. Some of the mid priced ones are a little bit ugly. Like this thing has flowers on top, which is fun sometimes, but probably not great for this. Oh, and you can't change the toilet paper color. In this game, toilet paper is only two simoleons. This Sims 4 could be taking some notes. We're over here paying like $50 for toilet paper in The Sims 4. Okay, this is what I've got for the bathroom. To be honest, I cannot bring myself to think more about this. <laughs> I find the bathrooms in this game to be really, really frustrating. And honestly, building takes so long. Between the lag and like all of the color choices and then like the default swatches being ugly, <laughs> it makes it extremely difficult to build in The Sims 3. You can't really just pick one of the default rugs because the options are all kind of bad so where does that leave you and you just spend all this time trying to figure it out the kitchen is what i am most excited for i have been using a lot of this counter set recently this is actually a counter that is from the sims 3 store it costs a lot of extra real life money and i'm not kidding the price of stuff in this game is genuinely shocking at times i'm wondering about trying to use the same color that is on the floor it barely makes a difference <laughs> it's very slight very 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 slight but it just fixes that wood tone the tiniest bit so it matches a bit more you know what we could also do them in a color if we wanted to let me see about a different tile because if we oh my god <laughs> i don't know if i've seen that one before oh my god it's so 2009 everything about this is so <laughs> 2009 Ooh, you know what i don't really love that but i feel like it has potential imagine if i painted the cabinets blue i mean i did say i wanted to make a blue suburban and this is kind of fun. <laughs> it's April Fool's Day. I think I'm allowed to like really commit to the bit with the blue. I'm gonna use the pricier oven and stove too. These are the ones that I used to use most often back 
then. And I'll probably get a dishwasher also. You kind of need to have these weird kitchen appliances in this game, because for a lot of the recipes, you literally need to have a food processor and stuff. So a food processor and a microwave are probably good for us to add in, even if they don't look that good. Okay, this chair does not want to place. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use some move objects cheat for that. I do think that they can still walk through there. It's just picky about where it auto places stuff. Oh my god, I hate that. I want to center this on the wall so bad. This game legitimately pains me sometimes. You just get so accustomed to what you can do in The Sims 4 that when you come back here, it like actually kind of hurts. So like, yes, we have a color wheel, but at what cost? <laughs> <laughs> At what cost? I'll get us a little trash can there in the kitchen. Oh, you know what else we have? Wall phones. <laughs> we can put a phone on the wall over here. Does that want a place there? No. Ugh. And there's like a burglar alarm. I should probably get a fire alarm too. If it's behind the fridge, does it still work? I think so. Oh, that's one of the default swatches? I honestly kind of like that with the little blue stripe. And then on this, I don't know. Should the railing be wood too? I feel like maybe that's a little bit better. I don't know. I find the... the the look of these spiral staircases to be kind of bad. So I have a hard time decorating them and picking colors for them. And there's so little clutter in this game too. It's like really hard. <laughs> there's not a lot for us to work with. I often find myself making my builds a little bit on the simpler side just because I can't make them work how I want them to. So I just keep it simple on purpose. I think that's ugly, but I'll use it anyway. I think that this should be the primary bedroom and we'll keep the primary bedroom downstairs. Maybe I'll pick a pretty canopy bed. This one, does this not look kind of like the for rent bed that we just got? That's part of why I was so excited about the bed from the rent pack because it was like, oh my god, it's like my Sims 3 bed I used to love. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks very similar. I hate every single lamp in this entire game. And I mean that when I say it. I never know what lamps to use. I don't think I've ever used these before. It's fine. I think I'll get some extra windows in this bedroom just to have something more interesting going on. And then maybe we could find some sort of picture to put above the dresser. I don't really like a lot of the paintings. There are some cute ones, like this little dog thing. I used to love this. It's just like a wheel. <laughs> I don't know why I liked it so much, but I did. <laughs> Maybe the phone could go in here. Oh, oh, never mind. You can't put phones on dressers, apparently. I can put it in the kitchen. Perhaps we could get a full length standing mirror over there. I hope they can still get through there. I don't know if they're smart enough to. Maybe I should do a smaller plant then. Oh, some folded clothes. Okay, oh my God, the lag. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how much more of this I can take. We still have so much left to furnish. We may have to start keeping it simple. We've already been keeping it simple, but <laughs> we might have to be a little bit more simple. I do like this downstairs layout a lot, to be honest. It's pretty cute down there. Let me go up again. So I had originally thought about making this little hallway space here into a desk nook. I do this a lot in The Sims 4 too. I just feel like it's a nice way to make use of small little corners in the game. Look at that, by the way, 2009. <laughs> <laughs> so funny to look back on. This does not want to slot correctly. I think that they can still use it even though the door is right there, but I'm not 100% sure. You can put a phone on the desk. For some reason, it slots really weirdly. I don't really understand why, but whatever. Maybe it has to do with like your Sims access to it. So they've put it in the corner so you can get to it easier. I would love if they gave us home phones back. I think that would be so fun. In The Sims 3, you also had a newspaper that would be delivered every day. In The Sims 3, you also had a newspaper that got delivered every day. Oh, that's a little shell. It's like, it's a beach house, right? So we could put that. I used to actually get really annoyed about the newspapers in this game, but now that we don't have them anymore, I kind of miss them. At a certain point, I would get frustrated and like try to cancel the deliveries because I would hate them just piling up in the front yard. I did use them early game to like get jobs and stuff, but later on, once I've been playing for a while, I used to get so annoyed. And now I wish that we had them in The Sims 4. You just always want what you can't have. It's one of those like the grass is always greener kind of moments. You never appreciate what you have until it's gone. Okay, something like that for the front porch. I've got some plants. I got a bench. I did put some lounge chairs upstairs so you can look out at the ocean. On this back thing, I kind of want to get a telescope or something. Oh, you know what we should use? This is what the- oh my god. <laughs> Katy Perry sweet treats. Um, this is what the little playground equipment looked like in The Sims 3. I think that would be so fun to have. It's a little playhouse. Isn't that so cute? I want to use it. They had all kinds of playground stuff. They even had like full-on slides too, but I already have a slide into the pool. That's a hot air balloon. <laughs> we have that. This is what the tree houses used to look like, which are also pretty cute. The tree house in The Sims 4 is cute too, but it's very, very, very big. Oh, and in The Sims 3, you used to be able to put the telescope inside. So if you wanted to, you could put it like out a window inside. You can't do that in The Sims 4. I am fully prepared to use the most chaotic wallpapers in this area. There's a whole section called themed patterns and there's like really fun stuff. Like we have these pretty butterflies. There's like yeehaw stuff. <laughs> you can even get like spider webs 
webs if you want to, castles, airplanes. Oh, the little sailboats. <laughs> Wait, it's like The Sims 4. <laughs> we should use that. I may also use a set of bunk beds in here just because they're kind of fun. You can kind of just use any sort of pattern on the bunk beds too. There's a lot of different patterns and textures in this one. The only problem is that when I use them, it starts to lag a lot, <laughs> which is very frustrating. It makes it hard for me to want to do it. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> We've gone for like a complete ocean theme in this kid's room. There's even a mermaid. I forgot that thing existed. A duck. Oh, a train. Oh my gosh. This game has some of the best toys too. Look at this. This is like a little kid's oven and they can actually cook in it. They can like genuinely make little foods in there. Oh, does it have to have the weird red on it? Yikes. Don't use that one. But they can cook like little blueberry muffins and stuff in there. They also have like a baker's half dozen stand and a lemonade stand and the kids can use both of those. Okay, this little pirate toy box probably matches the vibes of the room a little bit better. <laughs> so that's one kid's room. Maybe I'll make this one into like a teen's room. I'm kind of obsessed with the butterflies, but also look at how pretty that looks. I might use the butterflies still. <gasps> Murphy bed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Murphy bed. It actually kind of matches perfect too. And if I can do that without having to change colors, I would very much like to. It might be nice to have the option to change colors, but it's also nice to have the option to not have to change colors when it causes it to lag as much as it does. Oh, I forgot about curtains. I was planning on putting curtains in the downstairs primary bedroom and then I forgot to. The problem with curtains is that they slot to a specific height and you can't really change any of that. So they're a little bit harder to use in this game than they are in The Sims 4. And even The Sims 4 is not great for curtains, but like imagine if it were worse. <laughs> And that's how this one is. <gasps> no, 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 no. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. No, 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 no. Oh my God. This is the thing that I tried to warn you about where you can't switch between them. I think it might. <laughs> I think you might permanently do that. Or I might actually start crying. Okay, I'm gonna give it a few minutes, but I'm serious. I think we might be doomed. This is like a, the game's gonna crash, I have to close it kind of situation. I know because it's happened to me many times before. I haven't saved that recently either. I am so stupid. I should have known. It was like going too well. I cannot believe this is happening to me. <laughs> I think it's a lost cause. I'm gonna have to give up. This is like an elaborate April Fool's joke where my April Fool's joke on you turned out to be an April Fool's joke on me. <laughs> because here I was trying to do a cute little Sims 3 build and then this happens. And I did warn you in the beginning of the video that it might happen and it did. Okay, I checked. I last saved 16 minutes ago. So I think it's mostly just the bedrooms that we're missing. But at this point, I don't know if I can go on. <laughs> I don't wanna just keep going for it to happen again. I think that this might have to be the end of this video. <laughs> I, th I think that we've been through enough. Just Despite all this, I did have a fun time with the build. So I hope that you did too. Yeah, okay. It's it's like the outdoor stuff that we put and then the whole upstairs. Oh my God, it's fine. I, I think that we can leave the build as it is. I, I think that it's beautiful the way that it is. It's not like I'm gonna upload it to the gallery. There is no such thing, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and we had fun getting to experiment, right? <sighs> well, like I said, I'm gonna go. I will let you all know how snap surgery goes tomorrow. I'll, I'll keep you updated. I'm um, a little bit frazzled and kind of really <laughs> stressed out about all this. So um, just bear with me this week. I think my videos might be a little bit weird. I'm probably gonna miss an upload at least one, but I'm doing my best, okay? I promise. <laughs> it's just that my best is not very good right now. And if you liked this video, I do a lot of building here on my YouTube channel, mostly in The Sims 4, but if you liked this, we can try and do like a real Sims 3 build and like commit even despite the pain. I've tried to do a fair bit of Sims 3 over on my Twitch channel too. So if you wanna watch that, I can link my Twitch streams down below. And I post all of my streams on my second channel called More Simsy, so there is a ton of Sims 3 content over there as well. And I'm gonna leave now. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh, it had so much potential. It was so cute. The Sims 3 is just so painful to build in.